Hello, today I'm going to show you how to strip down the Air Arms TX200 air rifle uh, and fit a TBT drop-in tuning kit. This is probably the easiest air rifle in the world to strip down. First thing we need to do is to remove the stock. There are four screws holding it together, two at the front, either side there, and two on the trigger guard. Now you just need Allen keys to take these off, I've already undone them, so that comes off stop comes away. This leaves us with the inside of the gun. There is only one piece to undo here and that's this nut in front of the trigger. If it's a factory fresh gun it may be tight, you may need a spanner just to give it a little tweak to loosen it off. A top tip, put it on a firm surface and press downwards and you'll take up the slack in the spring, you'll feel it moving when you get it to the right point that will just twist easily with your fingers like that that means you've got all the preload under control and that comes out, you just gently let it lift and the gun comes apart, trigger block is out now the rest of it is very simple inside of here we have the piston steel factory top hat, the spring and the steel spring guide. Now we're going to replace these two parts here with the TBT drop-in tuning kit. These are a little grubby because they are actually my ones out of my gun. What we're doing here is replacing heavy steel parts with lightweight self-lubricating del rim parts. This reduces friction, eliminates metal on metal contact which reduces vibration and noise and also increases consistency as there's less friction between the spring and the other moving parts. What we have here is a slip washer. That's the first item to go inside the piston. Make sure the parts move freely on the rod before poking them down in the piston because they can be awkward to get out. So that goes on first, followed by the top hat which then spins on there as the spring unwinds, acting like a bearing. Then we have the spring that goes over that and then we have the spring guide which goes at the other end. Now. I would suggest you put it together like this the first time, chrono it and check the power. If you need or want to raise the power at all, you'll find these power washers also in the kit. They're varying depths, I would start again with the smaller one, it slides over the spring guide at the back and just creates a little bit of preload there give a little bit more power if it's needed. I know I don't know, need these ones in these because in my gun this is running pretty much perfect. So we need a small dab of grease just on there and on the faces of the slip washer and the top hat. Slip washer goes on first then the top hat, then the spring, then just a small amount of grease on the spring guide, twisting as it goes in, making sure it lubricates all the way around all the moving parts. Put those aside. Then we just get a small amount of grease on a finger and just go around the washer, the seal, front seal on the piston. Then we reintroduce that into the cylinder until it locates and that pushes down. Then we get the trigger block back onto there, back onto our hard surface, apply some pressure. And that does up, it wants to be 
facing vertically on the flaps there. So that when we get our stock, that sits nicely in the recess. Then you just get your trigger guard, your four screws and put it back together. And that is all there is to stripping and tuning the TX200.